Dennis, do you happen to know, will the mayor be joining us? The mayor will not. Be. Okay, then we just as well go ahead and open the Lancaster County Board of Correctional Facility, Joint Public Agency, opening the meeting for Tuesday, June 24th. Copy of the open meeting ordinance is posted at the rear of the hearing room, and we'll start out by asking for approval of the minutes of the May 27th meeting. Move approval. Second. Are there additions or corrections? <clears throat> Seeing none, call the roll, please. Smoyer? Yes. Emery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Item two is election of vice chair. Larry, I just, I just kind of mentioned, you know, the, the reason for an election of a vice chair is because um, of the change with Doug coming on. Carl was the, uh, was the vice chair, so now with that change, we just need to, to reelect one and, and kind of go from there. And I guess I'd have a question. Would you be willing to serve? Sure. As long as there's no expectations, I'll be here next. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got another guy over here, but uh, uh, he's uh, he got aspirations of going on to the legislature, so we'd just have to probably make another his change. His aspirations, mine are true. I'm not going to be here. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> it's going to be a half a year deal either way, I think. Uh, with that in mind. Nominate Doug Emery as uh, vice chair. I guess I have to second myself. <laughs> been moved and seconded that uh, we asked uh, Doug Emery to serve as vice chair of the JPA. Is there any further discussion? Is there any further nominations? If not, uh, call the roll please. Emery? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Congratulations Doug and thanks for being willing to no serve. Problem. Item three is approval of claims processed through June 17, 2014. Move approval. A second. Then moved and seconded. Discussion. Dennis, you want to tell us about them? Yeah, I mean, two payments. Um, one to Samson and one to Dickie and Burham. Um, Samson's is for their their services for May. It's a twenty one thousand four seventy three. Um, the the bigger one is for our um, warehouse, and I can have Mike address a little bit of that. But we're making a payment uh, a little over one hundred eighteen thousand. So it's a for a grand total, 139, 753, and 70 cents. Yes, Mike, you want to tell us about how you're coming on that building? Yeah, the um, as I told you each month, it's a 132 day contract. So, uh, I'm speaking with um, with Dickie Burnham, they're the general on this. They think in the next uh, 30 days they should be wrapping us up. We have left uh, about 150 thousand with retainage to to uh, finish this up. There is a uh, some type of a DEC connecting box that they're on back order. Everything's up, power's in. Uh, NIFCO's working on the sprinkler system, and uh, we did a walkthrough uh, last Friday morning. So uh, that's coming up fairly well. We'd like to be able to get in there and start organizing it because uh, that is where all, the, if you remember, that's where everything is being stored for the back stock for the facility because we cut the building size wise, the jail size, so we could use you know, more less expensive metal building, so to speak, to do storage. So that'll be kind of our link back to the building. Plus we have approximately 25 acres of grounds that we'll be taking care of mowing and things. We take over that January 23rd as this contract uh, expires with Lanahaw. So then f next year as we've walked, talked to Dennis about for budget, we'll be taking over the ground. So as part of that building is kind of the outside shop that Kate, um, let maintenance take care of mowers, um, being able to keep flammables out there and again move that away from that so that's been our plan i think it's coming together now it's just now we just want to get it finished so we can you know, get that uh, uh seeded and you know, get that ground not wash anymore so we're in that area but it is uh going to be a real real active building uh, we'll be using a lot of inmate labor in that area uh, and hope that sometime down in the future if things work out that could be some more inmate industry uh, space back in that area as well. So we do kind of forecasting a little bit of a strategic plan on being able to, to maybe do some outside training in that area for whatever comes up that we can get community support on. So I'm thinking, you know, 30 to 45 days, we should have that, that done. I know it takes about two more months to pay because we always pay um, a little bit in arrears, but we do this the last Tuesday of the month. Um, as for the building, I think you'll see in the bill with Samson, this is real minimal. We still have the Lana Hall uh, bill that's hanging out there, a couple of electrical bills and an accurate control. They're still 
doing wrap up things with that. So that we're pretty well about wrapped up with the Samson bill as well. So it's not not going to be long that those payments will be uh, be concluded. And operations on the main correctional facility, you've had some hot days, you've had some cool days, so you should have had a chance to really give her a test. That's right. It, what, it's interesting. We're learning a lot about the ground source. We had a difficult time in the winter because it was so cold and we were bringing a lot of hot water back into the wells and they were concerned about that. And what they've told us is we need to go through a summer to be able to more or less you condition the ground that gets you ready for a winter. So it's always better to start in the summer to a winter. We started more or less in a winter and then made it through there. So uh, we've learned a lot regarding our maintenance and uh, the variable speed boxes that are, that are needed out there for balancing the building. And so far I think we've lived up with that. And I think our utility prices have reflected that. So we're, we're in line on uh, those payments. Um, our biggest thing right now is just population. We, we've hit a record here yesterday at 653. Uh, so we uh, we were thinking 580 would be our top, but uh, we we're, uh, we're seeing a summer summer sp uh, spike, so to speak. So we'll be addressing that with the county board as well. 651. Wow. 20, uh, 120 females. That's, uh, that's a record, too. That's most uh, females we've had booked in one time. Any further uh, questions? If not, we have a motion and a second to approve the claims. Would you call the roll, please? Smoyer? Yes. Emery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Next item is public comment. Seeing none, unless Kevin wants to come up and talk to us. Okay, uh, looks like the next meeting is, uh, would tentatively be set for July 29th. Does that work? It continues to. Okay, we'll let that stand. We're ready for adjournment if the board so wishes. Will we adjourn? <laughs> Moved and seconded that we adjourn. Call the roll. Emery? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries three to zero. Thank you for your time and attention. <sighs> oh,